Welcome back. Still a good amount of sun around the region and obviously plenty of heat. Mid to upper 80s, couple low 90s still. You see Dublin, 90 degrees and very, very gentle wind. What we do have still coming in out of the south around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, as for those storms, very, very isolated in nature right now. They were actually a little more widespread uh, earlier on. Let's go ahead and flash back over the last hour and you're going to see we had a little bit more widespread storm activity earlier on. Now that being said, that does not mean we are tapering off for the night. Storms do remain possible around middle Georgia uh, past midnight tonight until like 1 or 2 a.m. No severe weather is expected, but a little bit of hail and a couple strong winds can't be ruled out with any of these storms as they get going. Uh, they'll likely be most intense while the sun is out, but we could still hear rumbles of thunder uh, well after midnight tonight and well after the sunset. So a little low of 69 in Macon. Wind out of the south southeast around five miles per hour. Definitely a uh, stick and muggy night for us. Anyway, that sees rain will have a better chance for fog as we get into the start of your hump day. Warm spots looking at Vienna and Cordial, 70 and 71 respectively. McCray will be down to 68 and we'll see 69 as well in Warner Robins joining Macon and several other spots. So decently widespread opportunity for rain to continue through the evening, even if it doesn't end up as widespread as expected. We aren't done yet, so keep in mind that yesterday some of those storms didn't really get going until we are seeing that sunset set and a little bit beyond. I mean, making got hit like 1 a.m. this morning. Now, as we continue your Wednesday, the rain odds back off, but it's going to be a hot one tomorrow. We're talking low to mid 90s and heat index is firmly in the mid 90s. And then we have a cold front coming in Thursday. that will instigate some more storm chances. We'll expect sunnier conditions behind that. There'll still be plenty of heat, but the humidity will be down for a couple of days. So based on what we're seeing storm wise right now, I don't necessarily know if we're going to get quite this widespread by 730 p.m. But the opportunity for storms does, of course, remain as it continues through this evening. Don't think we're going to see a line develop out like this. I think I have it at 40 percent for today, and then I drop that down to 20 percent for tomorrow. Because after about 2, 3 a.m. tonight, we should be putting the rain on the back burner for a little bit. It's going to be partly sunny, and the numbers on your screen are not necessarily doing it justice in terms of what it's going to feel like tomorrow. We're going to be seeing real feels 94, 95, 96 throughout much of the region without the rain chances really help and cool us down. Now, as we get into your Thursday, clouds are going to move back in after your Wednesday night, and we've got the cold front coming in. So don't be surprised if Thursday's rain chances are a little more widespread than what this model is currently indicating. For tomorrow, hot, mostly sunny, and no severe storms are expected. It's not going to be a bad one, actually. If you want some ice cream, just eat it fast before it starts to melt. 92 degrees for our high in Macon tomorrow with that wind out of the south-southwest. Coming up in 10 seconds, we will check out your extended forecast. Your photo with NBC AccuWeather 7 day forecast is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. So the storm chances are going to go up again a little bit on Thursday with that cold front. After that, the rain chances are kind of down for a couple days, as will be the humidity that will be most noticeable on Saturday. But hot is most certainly the case for us next week.